We get to say hello to May this weekend. May 1st is May Day, and that means big celebration, of course, in Minneapolis. It is one of the ways that you can celebrate spring as we're working for the weekend. Everybody's working for the weekend. Celebrate the start of May at the 42nd annual May Day Parade in Minneapolis. 50,000 people are expected to line the streets to see the puppets, floats, and performers. The parade is Sunday at noon. The route begins at 25th Street East and Bloomington and ends at Powderhorn Park. It's the perfect way to take in the beauty of art and nature at once. View fresh floral creations and the artworks that inspired them at Art in Bloom at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. The free four-day festival featuring over 150 floral designs begins today and goes through Sunday. Or get outside and enjoy nature with a workout. Sign up for a 5K run or walk that winds through the scenic spring arboretum landscapes, including challenging hills and rolling prairies. There is also a daffodil dash for kids. The event is Sunday at 9 a.m. Finally, you've been waiting for it. The outdoor St. Paul Farmer's Market opens for the season this weekend. Come on down to Lower Town and check out local goods and treats. The market is open Saturday from 6 to 1 and Sunday 8 to 1. Ah, the farmer's market know, starting to open. Now we've got Minneapolis open and St. Paul open this nice, weekend. Very good. Couple more picks to pass along. My pick is tonight. It is Target Free Thursday night. Uh, Walker Art Center is totally free the, awesome. on Thursday nights, and so that's tonight from 5 to 9. What is especially cool about tonight is that it's the teen takeover. So Walker has a council of teenagers who kind of do their own kind of art ideas. Yep. And they have a bunch of installations throughout the Art Center tonight, so it should be pretty fun. Not to dissuade anyone, but there's a ton of construction right in front of the Walker. So, so if so you go, just, just be aware. aware. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. All right, uh, we've got Ashley's pick here as well. It's the Prince Celebration of Life at Sabathany Community Center, Minneapolis. This is going to be Saturday from 1 to 6 and if you want to go out there and celebrate Prince it is free to attend. Nice. Very cool and we have links to all of these events on our website WCCO.com. A couple other picks to pass along. Matt? You know I love birds Jason. I do. Ooh. There are a few Ooh. things in this world that give me great Are you joy. a birder? Oh absolutely <laughs> the biggest. All right so my pick is bird banding day. This is going on at the Maplewood Nature Center Saturday from mm -hmm. 9 30 until noon. So you can check out uh, licensed bird banders capture, ban, and release wild birds to learn about age populations and migration patterns. So that might not sound super interesting, but the idea is like they're going to have a ton of these beautiful wild birds. You can go yeah, out there with them. your camera cool. and yeah. get some great photos. Very That's cool. free to attend. Fun. Nice. Well, First Avenue was packed all last weekend full of Prince celebrations. I will be there this weekend for the Lapsley concert in Minneapolis it's happening Saturday night at 8. I did not realize tickets were sold out to this, so they started at 1550. If you're interested in going, there are some available on StubHub. How oh. much will people have to pay you to get your tickets? Well, I just bought mine yesterday, okay. so I will not be selling them. Oh, oh all right, sorry. Okay. All right, well, look.